After completing the $10 million chicken challenge, the chickens began to fight back, like this and this. I barely made it out alive. I lost everything and ended up on Calm's Den Farm. Now, can we make $10 million from cows? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome everybody. We are here on Palm's Den Farm doing this $10 million cow challenge. As you may be able to tell by that little intro there, just got my butt kicked by a bunch of chickens. <laughs> Thought it'd be a fun little intro to make. And you may be wondering why I'm wearing this helmet. That is because I'm afraid these chickens will find me and hunt me down. So this is my character for this series. Let's go with it. Have some fun. We do have $100,000 in some starting equipment. I came in on new farmer mode on this map and we got quite a bit of land also. But we got some stuff we don't need like this chicken coop or chicken pasture. Now the downside to this map is I can't delete these fences but I honestly think I could work around them pretty good. So we'll get rid of that horse arena, this horse barn. Then over here we got this pig pasture to get rid of. Let's get rid of that. So now what I'm kind of set up with is these big open fields around here where I could put in some cows, pastures, and barns and stuff like that. But also there's a sheep one I need to get rid of. Sheep pasture, uh, gone. And I do own this cow pasture right here. Let's take a look at that real quick. This thing is actually pretty nice. It holds 150 animals, food at 120,000 liters. I'm kind of concerned there because I have the same thing on my core farms series and it's 120,000 limit but it's only 50 cows and it kind of goes through it pretty fast so I don't think that's going to be enough food for 150 animals. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. And I haven't done much with cows so I've got a little experimenting to do with different cow barns and layouts. Now as far as land goes I do own all this land that's in blue. Quite a bit of land and some pretty good fields here. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet as far as feeding these animals. You know what? Hey I haven't went over the rules yet. Let's go over the rules of this challenge. Basically Basically, it's got to be 100% self-sufficient, so all the food going towards the cows needs to come from a farm. I absolutely hate that rule. It was the hardest part of my chicken challenge, but I like the challenge, I guess. And then, oh, sorry, just over here playing around with stuff. And then the, all the money we get from the cows and cows product will go towards the top left after we sell it. So butchering the cows, milk, dairy products like cheese. What else? I'm forgetting other stuff. Maybe some ice cream. I, I don't know. Gotta look into that. Basically, anything that these cows can make, I'll sell it and add a profit it to the top left. Even though I did come in on new farmer mode, I still like to go through and make things a little bit harder. Periodic plowing and the uh, automatic engine stop stop. I'm used to playing on hard mode, but I kind of went away from it for content creating reasons. So everything's going to be set on hard except for economy. One thing I'm going to do different here is I'm going to go ahead and get some animals. Because I'm not 100% sure what feed is best. I know, I know the TMR is, but I'm not starting with the TMR for feeding these cows. So let's go ahead and get some. And as you can tell in the top left, our color theme is kind of a black and white. So we're going with some black and white cows. I'm only going to get one of each, uh, male, female. Well, you know what? I don't even need any males. Let me just get one, I guess. <laughs> and now I can check out what it requires as far as food wise. So hay is 80%, grass is 40, TMR is 100%. I just wasn't sure what ratio percentage effectiveness this was at. Now I don't see myself making TMR anytime soon, but I do see myself making hay pretty soon. Now as far as equipments go, I'm not too sure what equipment I'm going to stick with. It gives me two John Deere's and one fence. So maybe a John Deere theme. Maybe it's been a while since I did that and I do have a lot of John Deere stuff. But like I said, the color scheme I'm going with kind of black and white. So I I might go with, what's it called? Can't think of the name right now. Voltra. Might go with Voltra because this brand is probably the one I've found that has the most customizable colors out of all of them. And yeah, I get that black and white pretty easily. Here's our one little cow out here now. That poor little thing looks starving. So we better get some food for it. Let's get to that right now. See what fields we have that we can go ahead and mow, I guess. I mean, where I'm standing right now is actually a field. So I could mow it up and run over the cows the whole time. This is the mower the map gives me. Eh, I don't know. I'm going to go with that. Let's go ahead and sell it. The tractors I do have, my two John Deere's exactly the same. Well, they look exactly the same. 6230R. Uh, they're both 280 horsepower and then the fence 150 horsepower. Uh, maybe John Deere's a little better. <laughs> well, but 280 horsepower. Let's see what kind of mower I can get with that type of horsepower. No, this is the mower I want. <laughs> $151,800. We don't have that type of money, but I'm going to go ahead and lease it. And then there's a front one that goes with it also. Here's the front piece that goes with it. It's $17,300. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Try not to lease that much stuff. One thing I do hate about this map is the tight fitting, but also that's one thing I do love about the map. And one of the reasons I did pick it, I like how it's pretty uh, tight fit. I'm really having a lot of fun playing on his Port Farms Country Park map. It is so much fun. So that's another reason I kind of went with this one, but we're over here where 
where the sheep pasture was. Now I'm gonna get it all mowed up and see how much grass we end up with. Well, you know, I need to turn it into hay, so gotta tether it also. This worker is off and going. I believe there's a way I gotta get the swath dropping in the middle. I'm not too sure, but the thing is, I gotta wind row it anyways. So I'm not really worried about that. Well, I gotta tether it, then wind row it. But let's go ahead and buy the soil samples for all the fields I own. Get that out of the way before I forget. If you're curious, this is what I'm working with as far as the soil type goes. Now, I'm not too sure what's on these fields over here. I'm pretty sure they are crops, two, three, and six. And 31 and four here are both grass fields and 15, but I don't think I'm gonna touch 15. I guess I could just run over the cows. No big deal. Let's check out those other fields because I do have a harvester. Might as well harvest them, get some money. We do need some money outside of just the gold. I mean, we need some money to expand this farm. I just went through and checked the fields. We have wheat on field six here, barley on field three here, and field two is empty. It just needs to be plowed and planted. So let me get some workers out there on these fields, get some work going. Even though we are doing cows here and they require just hay and grass, I do probably eventually, maybe, I don't know, plan on getting into the TMR route. So I'm going to need straw and I'm going to need a regular crop field to give me that straw because I can't buy it. That's part of the challenge. With that being said, I got this harvester going around really, really slow. I'm going to have to do something about that. It's going around right now, dropping the straw swath. I'll go around, pick that up and store for now, use it later on. And all this barley off this harvest here, I'll just go ahead and sell most likely because I'm going to need the money. Mowing is all done on this field, but I believe there's only one way into the other field right over there, which is actually by that tree in the corner. So I got to go through this gate, then through another gate, and then through another gate to get there. After trying to wiggle my way back through here, I'm probably going to build like a ramp over the top of this fence and just drive over wherever I want. I don't think I could cut through the bushes because I believe there's a fence on this side of the bush. Yep, there is a fence on this side of the bush and I cannot get rid of that fence, but I could probably build the ground up high enough where I can drive over it. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Or under it. One thing I want to do is set up that harvester to automatically unload. So I'm going to go with this trailer TARDIS XL. It holds 200,000 liters. It's $20,300. Now I do have other ones that hold more than that, but they don't seem to work very good with the auto unload. Well, the times I've tried it, they didn't. I'm going to go ahead and get this tether right here. Pretty expensive. I usually go with one a lot smaller, but mm, why not? Just going to go ahead and go big with it. 17 meters wide, $33,300. We'll buy that. Now for a wind rower, I'm going to go with this one right here. It's $64,300. We definitely don't have that. So let's go ahead and lease it. We only have right around $15,000. Uh, so I need to start looking at selling some stuff that I don't ever plan on using, which is probably the telehandler. Let's go ahead and sell that. This trailer, we'll sell that. Telehandler attachments, we'll get rid of all those. I'm going to leave that header trailer because I'm going to have to move that header to another field eventually. Now this beller here, I'm going to get rid of this beller. I am going to get a beller, but I don't want to use this one. You know, I'll get rid of the cultivator. I don't see myself using that. I don't do any cultivating really. I do need a plow though. Hey, we're up to $218,000. I really like that. All done with the tatting and the wind rowing is finishing up on the second field. Well, starting on the second field now, but it is done with that first field. And that is a pretty good sized pile of hay, I think. I guess we'll find out how good it is once I start making bells. Here's the beller I'm going to end up going with. It's Square Beller by Mark Thor. It's not on the mod up. It is on his Discord. I love all the bellers that Mark Thor makes. I love his Quick Quick Beller and this one right here. I haven't used this one very much, so that's kind of why I want to use it. And I believe the Square Bells end up being bigger than the Round Bells. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they are. $93,200. Uh, let's go ahead and buy it. Everything after this, I'll start leasing. Now, I don't know if silage additive makes a difference on hay or not. I know it does on grass and probably silage. I guess I'm about to find out. I'm going to go with this 30-foot flatbed auto-loading square bell trailer. It's $20,750. Not sure how well I'm going to be able to get around this map with this long of a trailer, but I don't want to go too short at the 20-foot. I don't want to go too long at the 40 and the 53. So I'll go in between, try this out, We'll see how well it works out. I'll go ahead and buy this. I did say I was going to lease everything moving forward, but that wasn't too much. So funny thing is, I was backing up to this trailer here, grabbing it, you know, normal stuff. And I was looking at my character. I'm like, man, why am I wearing a motorcycle mask inside the tractor? Totally forgot all about that. First trailer's full. Got some bells still left on the ground. Some more coming out. Those look pretty good. Might be able to fill the cow pen up with some cows. Not sure how fast they'll eat through the food, but we'll figure that out. Back it in now. I'm not too sure how this will work. I'm behind. Really hoping it works like the sheep bin does and I can just leave them piled up there. Oh, hey, it took it. Man, I was really worried. I didn't think it was going to take them. We are completely full of food. Tons of bells still left here. Let me get them out of the way. Probably should have kept that telehandler now that I think about it. <laughs> but no, as long as the food keeps 
going in from that area right there, I don't think I'll have much to worry about. Let's go ahead and fill this up with some more cows. I don't have any time to waste. I'm going to go ahead and fill it all the way up. Might be a huge mistake. What happened? Oh, it cost money. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, I'm not filling them all the way up. I forgot the animals cost money. I mean, this ain't no chickens, so they're not cheap. Uh, let's go with 19. I'll start with 20 cows, I guess. This first fill here made us 30 bells total. That is quite a bit. I got a fill in. I'm not going to have much to worry about food wise. I didn't realize how much hay was made on these small fields. But let's see how much this other field gets. And we'll get it all over by the cow barn, I guess. By the cow barn. I was hoping to maybe get another cow barn in or a pasture, but it's not looking like it because those cows are expensive and I didn't realize that. But hey, that's all the time I got for this episode. I just want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. I really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It'll really help out this channel a lot. And if you're interested, I do have memberships available. But if you got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, please drop them down in the comments section. They're always welcome and very much appreciate it. Until next time, y'all take care.